Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's a bit breezy today. It is the Wednesday, the 4th of May, and it's uh, 10 to 6 here. So I'll give you a quick tour. Things are happening every day at the moment. Here at the beginning of the garden, I have my beautiful fuchsia, which is going to start flowering next week or so. Just getting some flower buds on there. So if we come round, we have my. This is a pink car, uh, a pink geranium. Then we have these are self seed, the hollyhocks. That's one thing about hollyhocks, once you get them, if you don't collect the seeds, they do tend to grow everywhere. But I can think of worse things that you can have. Here we have some day lilies, along with some beautiful tree lilies. Then we have this hosta, which the slugs and snails absolutely love. As we come down here, some more day lilies, some more tree lilies, and then we have a beautiful loop in here, which we'll start getting some flower stalks on it. Just see one there, just in the middle. And then we've got some dandelions that I've let grow. Come down here, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous Easter bonnet, Aquilegia. Just flowering their little heads off. Absolutely gorgeous. Next to those, some primulas, yellow and pink. And this is the beautiful white carnation, which is going to flower absolutely amazingly. So I'm buy some foxgloves, which are transplanted. Just starting to get the flower spike on those. This is the looping from the other side, I think you can see the uh, flower spikes a little bit better there. There's a loop in here as well. That's only going to send out one flower spike. And then we come down Japanese anemones there. Followed by this absolutely gorgeous Mrs. Birdhard, I think it's called. I'm not quite sure, but it's a beautiful pink. Absolutely gorgeous pink peony here. The flower heads on this smell absolutely divine. Next to that, an absolutely gorgeous aquilegia again. Columbine, the Americans call them. Beautiful dwarf variety there. Absolutely love the pink, the colours. And then next to that, we have this absolutely gorgeous forget me not. Beautiful electric blue there. A bit further down. I'm going to cut this back. This holly up because I want to give this peony a chance. I don't know if you can just see this here. The ants absolutely love the nectar off there. It doesn't damage them at all. They just feed on it. It does they absolutely love it. And then we have here an old-fashioned peony in the corner there that's really getting ready for flowering. I don't know if you can just see there. Just getting ready to flower. And then back here, a row of aquilegias. with the bluebells there at the back. We have this Diane Joyce, this oriental poppy. We have nice ivy growing up this tree. And I planted this last year. This is a clematis, so hopefully getting a nice flower bud on there. I should flower this year. Come down here, this beautiful white Aquilegia, which is definitely a keeper. I've only got a couple of pure white ones and this is absolutely not a bad flower on that at all. And beautiful Aquilegia there. And we have some lilies there that are going to come up along with some hollyhocks. Here we have these Icelandic poppies, the tissue paper thin petals, but absolutely gorgeous. Next to a beautiful bleeding heart. And then we have this peony, which is absolutely enjoying where it is. Absolutely loving it. Surrounded by forget me nots. And then that beautiful aquilegia. Look at that. That is a real showstopper, that. With the forget me nots. Then we have a couple of. Papaverse Somniferum there, the, that's the opium poppy, one there, one there. Surrounded by these delphiniums that were grown from seed last year and kept in pots last year. I planted these up at the end of last year, so hopefully they're going to go really well. Another Aquilegia. The colours are just stunning. Come down here, we have our bearded iris with a massive dandelion in the middle there. Some more Aquilegias. And then here we have 
beautiful lupin with a flower head popping out the top there and we have these crocosmias these are lucifer these are called they'll flower in a bit later on in the year and then we have the work i've been doing over the last day or so here these are all my pots this is these have been left in from last year i've just top dressed it here but these are begonias now from thompson among the were plug plants last year as you can see they're all growing really well and there's some agapanthus in here and this one marigolds violas petunias with a dahlia from last year in the middle there here we have some cosmia here we have some cosmos which i'll just nip the tops out just don't let them fatten up like this one. This one's already had the top nipped out, as you can see there. It's growing really, really well, that one. I had to put some slugs and snail pellets on because they're getting absolutely mullered. Some nice sweet peas there. And then the violas next to those. And then we have some rubecchia, some cornflowers, and some petunias there. Some more agapanthus in the corner. As we turn around, some more marigolds. Some more marigolds, these wigwams for the sweet peas, four canes right to the bottom, surrounded by these beautiful sweet peas. So this is marigold, petunia, marigold, petunia all the way around, and four sweet peas in there. And this is caffiole daily in the middle, and that's from last year. Come down here, these are dahlias, these are dahlias that were grown from seed last year, and these have been left out. It's got some poppies in there as well, so I shall just separate. Leave two in there, they're a little bit too close actually, but they'll have to do. And they're all coming back, you can just see there the dahlias. Another beautiful aquilegia there. And I have a clematis, which I've just nipped the top out of, just there. Hopefully it'll start sending out some side shoots soon. And then these are the big papaverse omniferum, the opium poppy. Absolutely ginormous now those. This is a cabbage stage as you can see. That's what it's called, that because it looked a little bit like cabbage leaves. But that's a nice shoot from there, hopefully. Some more aquilegias and the clematis on this side, which is absolutely humongous. Look at the size of the flowers on those when they open. And then this uh, plan behind this is centre, this is called clotted cream, this. And this has got a load of new shoots, so that is going to look really well soon. And as we look from here, you see the forget-me-nots, the aquilegias, and then here the agapanthus. This is a third year now. I'm going to start potting some of these up over the next few days, put them into bigger pots, and we should get some flowers out of those. And then my opposite pot with my climbers in it. It's got sweet peas in and lilies. And then we have my silver birch here, surrounded by foxgloves. As you can see here, absolutely gorgeous just sat here out of the wind and then my peony in pots if you've got any questions about anything growing in my garden please don't hesitate to ask folks if you like my videos please subscribe and if you want to win some uh, pelagoniums if you go into my video on this channel and leave a comment that gets you entered for nothing but it's uk residents only i'm afraid see if you can win some of them pelagoniums absolutely gorgeous thank you for watching everybody and please keep safe thank you bye